Hi guys, today we're going to be taking a look at Colette Duranger from the Counterculture Collection from New Face. This line is very unique and very different and I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. To be very very honest, when I first saw it, I was not really impressed with it. I didn't really pre-order anything from that line, but I did enter the lotteries because I like to review the lottery dolls because not everybody gets a chance at them. so. I'd like to be able to have one and take her apart and show everybody what she comes with so that you can figure out if she's worth hunting down or not. But this one I liked some aspects of her so I did want to get her and keep some of her stuff. But when I opened her, I actually ended up liking her more than I originally thought I would. And I think one of those things is the fact that she is very different. I don't really have any Colette 1.0 dolls in my collection except for one that they did for the Poppy Parker line which is called Penelope Chase. I believe but beyond that I was not really interested in this sculpt just because I think she doesn't really fit in with the current girls and I still feel that way. Anyways on to her outfit. This coat is really really big fluffy and pink and it has little colored tinsel in it kind of like we saw in the ice cream part from um, Eye Candy Reina's purse. She has these really long cool metallic purplish pinkish boots which I really love and that was one of the things that I want to keep from her and then she comes with this little orange purse and orange as I have mentioned before is not one of my favorite colors. I don't really know how to style it. It has this kind of strap which is weird. I don't know how to use it and then it opens up and there's this little cute chain there. I do like that. Then she comes with a million bracelets kind of like we saw for Sacred Lotus and I'm keeping them on here because I'm not going to be using them so I plan on selling them. Yellow is also another color that I don't really use especially neon yellow and I think the fact that it had so many neon colors is why a lot of people didn't really like these dolls. Here's a good look at her face up. You can see she has gradient eyebrows which I'm not really a fan of. She's got really really light neutral colored eyeshadow, winged eyeliner which actually is quite nice and then she has really bright pink lips. I actually like this more than I thought I would. She has a silver star stud on one ear and then a silver moon stud in the other which I think is really adorable. She has a really long sort of crimped dark blonde hair which is really pretty actually. She is in a new skin tone. I believe this is called Sunkiss and again we have a dark skinned doll with blonde hair which I have made some comments about before. Another unique aspect of this doll is that she has henna on her hands and I don't really know what the purpose of that is. I know that this maybe were better for the Sacred Lotus collection given the inspiration but I don't really understand it for a new face. Here you can also see her ring which is another little moon, adorable. Second ring which is huge and actually quite cool. The little orange gemstone in the center. The last part of her jewelry is her thick choke which has a little silver detail on the front. The choker is also neon colors and I kind of wish that it was just pink or just orange. It's still a cool choker. It's really really thick though so it might not be everybody's cup of tea. And then her top is purple mesh with these magical color changing sequins that I'm sure everyone is tired of seeing but I guess on this it works pretty well. And then my favorite part of her outfit besides her boots is actually pink neon skirt. It has these little silver rings on the front which I really like. I think this skirt is very trendy and very edgy and cool so I'm excited to reuse it with other tops and uh, you can see that she also has little rings on the back as well and her purple top is actually a bodysuit so you can reuse that with other things too. Maybe with a pair of black pants would be cool but yeah that's pretty much everything that Colette comes with. I'm really curious to hear other people's opinions on her. Like I said I was not really interested in her in the beginning but seeing her in person I started to like her better so I'm gonna give her a chance and see how long she sticks around. That is it for today and I will see you guys very soon because I have a couple more dolls to review. Until then bye and thank you for watching.